All right, fellas, push. He wants something. He always wants something. One's up there with a girl. The other's at the waterfall. Good. We'll attack them one at a time. It'll be easier that way. Can't you tell us who they are? You know how much gold the king will pay us. Why worry about their names? Now, come on. When you kissed me, it seemed as though I heard the loveliest music. It seemed as though I came alive for the first time. Please tell me again that you love me. Just in time. It's an Hercules. Oh, it's Hercules himself. <laughs> ah, Jocasta. Oh, what an escape. This is a fine way to welcome us to Icalia. It's probably a suitor of Dinara who's angry because you're marrying her. You're marrying her? Yes, Dianara has been waiting a long time. I'm determined that not even the thunderbolts of Jove will prevent our marriage. And you? When are you marrying? Not yet. I've still got lots of time. We'd better be going. You go first. I'll join you in a couple of days. It's a long time since you've seen Dianara, so you two won't need company. Not even your closest friend. Thanks, you're right. Give her my love. I'll see you both soon. I should have known better than to put my trust in weaklings and cowards. We, we did all we could. You dog. Is that how you carry out the orders I gave you? You didn't tell us who we... Enough! Are. Come with me. together couldn't kill Hercules, and Theseus was there too. So you'll pay us all that you promised us? My men and I, we could have lost our lives. You shall receive payment. As promised. Take all you need. There's enough for you and your men and more besides. I pay those who serve me for services rendered.
Dayanara. Dayanara. obstacles in my path. The body of Eurites lies peacefully in its tomb, but Dianara has not yet taken her rightful place as Queen of Akalia. Why not? Why hasn't she? Dianara was not ready to govern us. Why, Kiros? What happened to her? No one can ever see her. She is locked up in a wing of the palace where even her most loyal servants don't dare to go. Who did this? It was I, Hercules. It was I. Meanwhile, I have become king, taking care of my beloved niece as if she were my own daughter. Why do you keep her in hiding? Why can no one see her? Would you have wanted the people to know the terrible gravity of their queen's illness? You know what superstition can do. You still haven't answered my question. Where is she? Dianara was cursed by the gods. Would you have wanted the palace servants with their scheming minds to have spread abroad lies which would only have done her irreparable harm? Surely you'd have preferred someone who'd care for her, cherish her, as I did. While awaiting your return. Your wisdom speaks through your words, Liko, and I'm grateful to you. But what happened to Dianara? Don't try to spare me, Liko. I insist you tell me the truth. She is sick, Hercules. She is very sick. Your long absence, the uncertainty of your fate, and finally the death of her father proved burdens she was no longer able to support. Where is she? I must see her. You shall, of course, see her. She is in the garden. Let us hope that your return will restore the poor creature to her senses. Dianara. He is in the deep sea and I must join him. Down there in the depths these many years. His bones glistening. Lies my own beloved who will never more return. Dianara. I seem to hear his voice. his friends lie near him, dreaming through the long nights peacefully, and they wait only for the day of judgment. Dianara, what's the matter with you? Don't you recognize me? I recognize no one. We here do not even know ourselves. Only he who commands our destiny knows us. He who is our master, to whom we give obedience. He is our only ruler. He is our only ruler. The others no longer exist. No other master exists for me. 
And if he so wills, I must go to the deep sea to my own beloved. To my own beloved who will never more return. Who will never more return. It's no use, Hercules. What has changed in Icaria since you were last here? Frightening mists have closed around the sacred mountain, fouling the very air. Everyone is terrified. At night they hide away, frozen with horror. What are you trying to say, Kiros? It's not only Dianara. This madness is in her people. Only you can save Icaria. Only you can save Dianara from the curse which threatens her. But how? You must wait. Tonight, if there's no moon, you can come to my house through the back gate. No one must hear what I tell you. Thus Eurites died, and thus shall all those die who reign over the kingdom of Icalia. The forces of evil dominated this land before the father of Eurites defeated them, and banished them forever to the kingdom of the dead. And their curse shall hang over us and over all this land, until such time as the last descendant of him who banished them shall be destroyed. But surely there must be some way to combat them. How? Can one fight against shadows? Can one fight against winds? Against bolts of lightning? Can one fight against terrible storms that ravage the earth? The stormy winds, the bolts of lightning, are sent from heaven by the gods. But evil is spawned here on earth. So it is that I shall ask the gods to help me find a weapon to fight it. So it is a weapon you seek, O oh mighty hero. I cannot help you, Hercules. The forces of evil have bound me to an oath of silence and I must not speak. I'm not asking for myself. I'm asking for a completely helpless woman. The gods have not abandoned you, Hercules. Though evil may descend upon the earth like a sudden darkening of the sun, it can disappear as quickly. More than this, I must not say. O oh, all-powerful Zeus, O oh, Lord of heaven and earth, Father who engendered me, I invoke your help. In return, I offer you my immortality. It must be so to save Dianara. O oh, omnipotent Zeus, I entreat you. May the Sibyl speak. That I may obey. Have you the courage to venture beyond the gates of Hades, the domain of the god Pluto? No one has ever returned from the kingdom of the dead. Far beyond the garden of the Hesperides, you must seek a living stone that is shining in the depths of Hades. Only there, in the terrible kingdom of death, can be found life for the one you love. Thus, the god Zeus has spoken through me to 
help you. She loves me. She loves me now. She loves me. She loves me now. She loves me. She loves me now. She loves me. First time. An earthquake. Hey. Stop you. You can't dance. Oh, no? Who's going to stop me? I am. I mean, say, Theseus. Who is he? Theseus. A rough character, you know. Don't want to argue with him. Theseus? He's my friend. As a matter of fact, he's the person I want to see. Mm. I don't believe you. Well, how about it? Are you going to let me pass? No. I said no, and I meant it. Theseus, don't you two ever get tired? May I finish oh. this kiss if it doesn't bother you? I told you he'd be rather mad at you. Hello. Who's he? He's my fiancé, or so he keeps saying. Yes, he came here to marry her, but when I talked him out of it, we became the very best of friends. What are you doing here? All right, get your things together. We're leaving. Fine with me. I'm tired of hanging around here doing nothing. I was getting rusty. I'll go along in case you need protection. Where are we headed for? Hades. Wonderful. You said Hades? The kingdom of the dead? I did indeed. It's the only chance I have of saving Dianara. Is Dianara in danger? I'll tell you later. Come, we must leave immediately. Of course I'm ready. But can men go down to Hades alive, I mean? There's only one way. We must gain possession of the golden apple. The magic apple that's found only in the Garden of the Asperides. An apple? Yes, it has the magic power of making it possible for whoever possesses it to enter and come out alive through the gates of Hades. Perfect. The Asperities are women, aren't they? It won't be difficult for us to get what we want. That apple should be no problem at all. Maybe so. But before we can go to the Garden of the Asperities, we must convince Sunus to lend us his magic ship. I know his wife well. I can handle Sunus. We are friends, very close. I wouldn't be so sure. Ah, Sunus will be glad to help. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's get ready to shove off. I told the idiot to watch out. He said he could manage all soon. Mm. Seems he knew his wife far too well. This will teach him a lesson. <laughs> My ship is yours, only if you can survive the test of the horse. If not, they'll divide you. One half of you here, the other half there.
we're sailing against the wind. This is really a magic ship. Mm -hmm. Are you homesick? <laughs> <laughs> You must know, how far is the Garden of the Hesperides? How far? I don't know. I know is that, that it's the dark eternal kingdom of night, where the sun never rises. And the Hesperides, who are they? They are women condemned by the gods to live in darkness. Are they pretty? No mortal man has ever seen them. So sleepy. I am too. But we must not go to sleep at any cost. I've heard these spirits. They're very fond of eating. which you have been seeking, O oh mortals. You are in the garden of the Hesperides, in the dark regions of night. Our queen wishes to speak with you. Wait here. I'm beginning to think they do leave young men, you know. Arathusa! The strangers have arrived. I have already seen them. Please feel you are welcome here, strangers. Give thanks to the gods who have aided you on your journey. Never until now have they allowed a mortal man to reach the desolate shores of this land of endless midnight. My greetings to the Queen. I am... Yes, I already know you, Hercules of Thebes. And I know those young men as well. But why have you come for the most treasured possession of our land? The golden apple which you have in custody here will help us to enter the gates of Hades. And in Hades I'll find a way to save Dionara's life. We want to help you, in any way we can. Although you must go alone to fetch the apple. It will not be an easy task, I warn you. You still have a chance to turn back, Hercules. But if you have the courage to go on, be warned. If you mean to take our treasure from us, then you must succeed or die. Have you understood? He fears nothing, not even the gods. Where is the golden apple to be found? High above us, in the sacred tree undefiled by the greed of men.
Now Hercules must rely on the gods. Where's Theseus? As you ordered, he's been taken to the grotto of Procrustes. Yes, where he and his friend will meet their death. Here you are. Thank you. You may rest here while you wait for Hercules to come back with the apple. Would you stay here with us a while? Watch oh. yeah. out. Dangerous. They haven't tried to eat us up so far. Yes, but you wait. They'll come up to the floor and nibble us while we're sleeping. Why didn't they give us beds that fit? This one's much too long. Uh-uh. And this one's too short. Oh, well, everything can go smooth. Oh, stop your grumbling and go to sleep. Our real troubles will be starting tomorrow. Uh, I've always said that anything you do is safer done at home. But he hasn't succeeded in bringing down the apple. Not even Hercules could do that. about to do. Zeus, my father, guide my hand if what I'm about to do is just.
When you did this, you freed us from the power of the evil god Pluto, our father's god of the sun. Now we're able to go back to his realm. We need live in darkness no longer. We need no longer kill. Kill? Yes. We were forced to be in league with Procrustes. Theseus was his last victim. Theseus? If he is armed, Theseus, I swear by the gods that monster shall suffer. Quickly, show me the way to find Procrustes before it's too late. Wait! No man can fight Procrustes. Many have tried and met horrible deaths, Hercules. If you can destroy him, the gates of Hades will be open to you. But remember to believe only in what you do yourself. Do not believe in what you think you see. Farewell, Hercules. You should be longer. You must be longer. So I will stretch you out until you fit the bed. You will be as thin as the ropes that bind you. Then I will tie you into a knot. No! For this little bed, I'll make you smaller. Look out, Hercules! Look out! Get away, Hercules! He's made of stone and stone! Get out before he kills you! Of stone you are made, and by stone you shall be destroyed! You know, I didn't think Hades would be anything like this. I hope Telemachus keeps awake. I'm not sure we did right sending him back to guard the apple. The golden apple's our only chance of getting out of here alive. whose glorious deeds are known below the earth as well as above it, listen to my plea. You can break these chains, strong as you are, and I will return to earth alive. Pluto, the god of darkness, has enchained me here. But if you save me, I will serve you as your slave as long as you live. Save me, I beg Stop. you. Stop! It's a trap! No, it's true, Theseus, I swear to you. When you break these chains, we can return to Earth, and I will be yours forever. Don't trust the shadows of Hades! pass through those flames. We have no other choice. We'll be roasted alive. But remember to believe only in what you do yourself. Do not believe in what you think you see. Don't jump! Come on, Theseus! Courage! Jump! <laughs> Wait for me! Hercules, here I come!
the souls of the damned imprisoned in these vines. See that white hot fire? That is the stone that shall give new life to Dianara. It looks possible to reach out and take it, but the boiling lava all around it will make it difficult. Perhaps it's another trick of Pluto's to make it look impossible so they will give up our search. Anyhow, we'd better be careful. It's real. Pluto is clever. We're clever, too. Theseus, give me your sword. What are you gonna do? Zeus protect us. That's where I wanted to. We can get over there.
Because of me, you met your death. One of the dead in Hades. If you're dead, then I'm dead too. Of course. I remember the boiling lava. But you're alive. You were able to get through the infernal lava bed before Pluto could claim you. But you too seem to be alive, my beauty of Hades. Many things down here will seem strange to you. <gasps> but you're trembling. What are you afraid of? Can't you tell me? The stone's being taken. I don't know where this corridor goes. I don't even know if we can leave Hades. I only know that I have you here in my arms. And I wish it could be like this up on Earth. That corridor will lead us to where you left your ship. There we will say goodbye. Never. You belong to me. Now there's nothing more to divide us. Not even Hercules? What do you know of Hercules? I know many things. I know he will be against your taking me out of the kingdom of Pluto. I came here to help Hercules save his beloved. Now you will help me save mine. We'll be careful. We won't tell him anything. Maybe you'd gotten yourselves in trouble. But instead, I see you've captured the stone of Pluto. Wonderful. <laughs> and at a dear price. Theseus will never again see the light of day. The lava beds of Hades have swallowed him up. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you, but the lava beds of Hades threw me back up again. I can't be swallowed whole even by the king of Hades himself. Too bad. I was hoping I was rid of you once and for all. It's just too hard to get rid of. Come on, let's get out of here. Our first visit to Hades has lasted long enough. Where's Theseus? He's down below, taking a nap. Oh. Go down and call him. Hurry. We'll need all the hands we've got if we're going to get back to the land of the living. Who are you? Tell me your name. Does it matter what I'm called? Hey! Don't be afraid. It's me. Hercules wants you. You should come up on deck. The whole sky's turned black. It's a hurricane. It came up so quickly, the gods must be angry. Come on, hurry! Pluto, he has let loose the great winds to stop us from leaving the underworld. Pluto? We've never offended Pluto. Why should he be angry with any of us? The apple of Hesperides. The apple? Hercules has it. You must throw it overboard. But it's our only hope of passing through the gates of Hades. Throw it overboard, I tell you.
here. Now we must stay in Hades for all eternity. Look there. Now, do you think I shouldn't have thrown the golden apple into the sea? Look at it. But how did you know this would happen? <laughs> Sometimes I have flashes of inspiration worthy of a Hercules. Let's get back to Acadia. Without you, I would never have succeeded in this venture. Thank you, Theseus. <laughs> I tried to lower the sails and they lowered me. <laughs> hey, Hercules, help! Get me out of here! Get me out! <laughs> Greetings, my friends. These are sad times, Hercules. What has happened? The gods have abandoned us. The heavenly fires have burned our fields and dried our rivers. Someone has offended the great gods of Olympus. Intercede for us. Our cattle have all died. Please tell me, what's the matter? Do you want to go back home? No. You're the most wonderful thing that's happened in my life. But I'm afraid. I'm afraid that our happiness will bring misfortune to your country. You, you don't really know who I am. Does it matter who you are? As long as you're with me. You're my only reason for living. You're the girl I dreamed of long ago. You, you are all a man could desire. As for your name, perhaps it might be... Persephone. You. Then you're the favorite daughter of Pluto. Yes. And you and your countrymen will feel the force of his anger. You can't possibly know. We two should never have met. Even Hercules will hate us before long. No. You mustn't think that. No one will ever separate us. I say no one. If I have to defend my love, I'll even kill Hercules. <laughs> She's returning to life. Oh, gods of darkness, I beg you, do not abandon me. Do not abandon Liko, who was king of Ekalia. You shall remain king of Ekalia for all eternity. But so that your destiny shall be fulfilled, on the night when the moon is devoured by the great dragon, you must take into your veins the blood of Dianara. Her blood must flow through your veins. With her death, you shall gain eternal life. I cannot. Hercules guards her night and day. Even the forces of Hades could not overcome him. Hercules has offended Pluto, one of the most powerful of the gods. You must separate Dianara from Hercules and from all those who live, who love, who weep, and who die. Lure Hercules from Dianara's side, then slay her and take her blood. Only in this way shall you become king for all eternity. Yes.
king for all eternity. with blood. I called you, but you were far away and could not hear. You were far away. It's all over now. You must try to rest. I heard... I heard a strange voice calling. Oh, how horrible a dream can be. The nightmare is over and we are together again. Nothing can harm you. Now let me see you smile. Look, Dianata. The moon is shining brightly tonight. It's as though it were rejoicing for all of us. <gasps> Don't be afraid, Dianara. It is I who am grateful to you for having saved Dianara. Our people wish to celebrate your recovery, but alas, they fear that the pestilence which afflicts our countryside was caused by Hercules. They believe that he has profaned the sacred kingdom of the dead. But the gods are not so cruel as to wish Dianara to die. There must be some other explanation. I have no doubt that there is. You should consult the oracle immediately. She'll give you an answer. You are the son of Zeus. I shall go to the oracle at once. You are very wise. When I think of what has happened, happened because of me, I almost wish you'd left me here to die. You mustn't speak like this. If anybody's at fault, it's certainly not you. All this is brought about by the terrible destiny that hangs over me and over all those who are dear to me. I'll share whatever fate may come your way. Without you, life does not exist. Until I return, do not leave this room under any circumstance. And always be sure, keep the magic stone by your side. No, Hercules, don't leave me alone. I'm so afraid. I'm afraid every moment when you're away. But when I return, I'll never leave you again. This I promise you. As you can see, Dianara will be perfectly safe. Nobody would dare to cross the threshold of this room. And I will guard her with my life. Thank you, Liko. The shadow of the great dragon already hangs over us. Neither by night nor by day shall you be granted sleep. All mankind must atone for the sin committed against the gods, must pay for your offense to Pluto, who out of revenge has allowed the forces of evil to unleash their fury against the earth. If to love a woman and to want to bring her back to life is sin, then I am more than willing to pay the price. The gods read the hearts of men. They know your love is deep and pure, Hercules. What is the cause of their anger? What must I do to please them? You must persuade Theseus to renounce Persephone. She can never be his. But Medea, how can I ask Theseus to renounce a love which has brought him so much happiness? It's impossible. He would never do it. Nor would I if somebody asked me to give up my love for Dianara. Theseus must renounce Persephone. There is no other way to placate her father, Pluto. If Theseus will not give her up, other victims will be sacrificed. Beware, Hercules. Watch over Dianara on the night when the great dragon shall devour the moon. Listen to the beast howling. Who knows how many other innocent victims will die tonight? Monster! Monster! No, you have nothing to 
afraid, Diana. It'll all be over soon. Take courage. Don't be afraid. Who are they, the guards? Are they going away? No, they're going on midnight duty. Don't worry. Stay here. I'll go and see. Yes, it was I. This time you shall not escape. Only you can save us from the danger that hangs over us. I? What can I do? There is only one way. You are in love with the girl against the will of the gods. It seems that your love for her is the cause of all our calamities. Perhaps. But it's about time you learn. You and I must be grateful to her. We too owe her our lives. What do you mean? When we return from Hades, remember the storm that broke upon our ship and could easily have brought about the death of us all? Well, do you think we could have come back without the aid of someone close to the gods themselves? Who could that have been? It's Persephone. Persephone? Yes, Persephone, the favorite child of Pluto, dark god of the underworld. She is the woman I love, and I know she loves me. She was willing to leave her father to come away with me. Theseus, listen to me. You do not realize the danger you're in. All of us are in. If you do not give up this girl you claim to love. It's strange that you should talk to me this way. You, Hercules, who challenged the divine gods themselves for the love of a woman. Huh. And I was there at your side. I'm amazed to have to defend my love against you. It's just this which renders my mission so painful. Theseus, try to understand my position. Get out! Get out of this house, you hear? I implore you, Theseus. My friend, believe me. If only the gods had offered another alternative. There is no alternative, Hercules. We must fight this out, here and now. As long as I live, I never intend to give up Persephone. You're going to have to kill me, or I'll kill you. You're my enemy. This is no duel, Theseus. You're only trying to kill yourself. You know very well that your love for Persephone has no future. You don't have the courage to survive the delusion of a love opposed by the gods. It's not true. Persephone will stay with me. Get out of here. Get out of here before I kill you.
Time. Listen to reason. Go on. What are you waiting for? Go ahead. Kill me. Stop, Hercules. You mustn't be responsible for his death. You must not kill him. You know how useless it would be. Don't kill him. You must see that our love has run its course. Look at him. He's sleeping like an innocent little child. I've given him forgetfulness. And when he awakens, I will have gone. Please forgive me. The blame is mine and only mine. I was unable to resist loving him, even though I know I should have. I wanted to love as mortals do. So don't be concerned about him. He'll forget me even before he returns to his senses. Now take heed, you mustn't lose time. Go to Ekali and save Dianara. She's in terrible danger, Hercules. In danger? This very night, when the dragon devours the moon in the heavens, then he will drink her blood, the evil one, and she will become a creature of the damned. What are you trying to tell me? There is one man only who wishes her harm, the very spirit of evil on earth. And you must defeat him. But tell me whom I must fight. You can't mean Rico. Yes. To save Dianara. Because I must take the power of the magic stone with me when I return to Pluto, my father. Go. Hercules, not Dianara. Dianara has disappeared. We've been searching everywhere, but there isn't a trace of her. And Lico, where is he? No one has seen him. Perhaps he is in his rooms far underground, where not even a servant is allowed to enter. We must find him. Let's go!
O God of evil, the great dragon has swallowed the moon, and now my destiny shall be fulfilled. The blood of Dianara shall be my blood. Eternal shall be my reign in thy name. Eternal shall be the sorrows of Hercules. And eternal shall be the night for the woman he loved. to the earth. Let it be that Persephone's sacrifice shall not have been in vain. Hercules, Tyanara. I couldn't have hoped for a more pleasant gift from the gods. I'm so glad to see you. How are you, Theseus? Fine. Fine. But you seem sad. What's the matter? I don't know. I had the strangest dream a while ago. 
Beautiful and yet terrible at the same time. I seem to be with a wonderful girl, like a goddess who said that she loved me. Hey! Then when I kissed her... Hey, my friends, have you heard the news? Jocasta's agreed to marry me. She finally came in and said yes. <laughs> Jocasta, but you were the girl of my dreams. But you're the goddess. A goddess? Yes, yes, it was you I dreamed about. Oh, please. Jocasta! No, no, not again. <laughs> <laughs> What terrible fate let him in now? Jocasta. I might as well just drown myself. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> as long as Theseus steals other men's girls, I have nothing to worry about.